You're not eating. I had bugs for lunch. <laughs> Most cultures in the world are all for entomophagy, or insect eating. And the rest of us, well, we should probably get used to it too. Come here. Stop Anthony that. Senior, what do you think of their performance? Yeah. They're crazy as hell. That's They're crazy as hell. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts, the series where we reveal, you guessed it, five random facts about a fascinating topic. For this installment, we're counting down five of the most essential things you probably didn't know about edible insects. I can't believe I ate that whole thing. You ate it, Ralph. I can't believe I ate that whole thing. Number five. Crickets have as much omega-3 as salmon. Our omega-3 slick will take him down. Private, activate. Omega-3 is one of those important good fats you hear about, and good dietary sources of it are hard to come by. Bugs have other surprising nutritional properties too. They are a fantastic source of protein, and depending on the species, they can contain more calcium than milk and more iron than beef. And according to many people, eating bugs is also an excellent source of the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Number four, insects are among the most eco-friendly crops. Pig, poultry, and cattle farms may provide a wide variety of delicious meat products, but their environmental impact can be pretty intense, largely due to how much space and water is needed to grow their feed. We could reclaim some of the 30% of the Earth's land surface, which is currently being used by the livestock industry to grow animals and the grains that the animals eat. According to the United Nations report on edible insects, crickets need only 1.7 kilograms of feed to produce one kilogram of edible mass, or like three or four of these. I'm not gonna need to eat for a week after this one. Compare that to conventional meats that require anywhere from 2.5 kilograms to 10 kilograms of feed to produce a kilogram of meat. And insects can be fed on organic waste like compost. They also have the potential to help slow climate change since they produce very few greenhouse gases. Though I guess bigger bugs like this one produce more gas. Was that your auntie? Then oh, that must mean that that's your uncle then, huh? Oh, you know y'all look alike. Number three, most of the world is already eating them. At home, restaurants will get closed down for having a cockroach in the kitchen. Yeah. Here is a starter. If you live in places like Canada, the US, Europe, or Russia, then your first reaction to eating bugs is probably yuck. However, most other places in the world are accustomed to some form of entomophagy. You eat wasp yeah. larvae. That is the wasp nest. In parts of Mexico, wasp larvae is good eats. In China, all kinds of fried bugs and even scorpions are on the street food menu. Rural Cambodians have made a cottage industry of scouring the infested rice paddies for grasshoppers and selling them in neighboring Thailand. Well, you know, the weird thing is, I'm, I'm the freak here, aren't I? Everyone else is eating that. I'm eating these. Number two, you'll soon be enjoying them at home. Slimy, yet satisfying. Baum and Whiteman, international food trend forecasters, predict that insects, particularly in protein bar form, are going to become a serious trend in 2015. Experts say that if bug eating were to catch on in the West, then catching bugs in the wild could be devastating to their ecosystems, so small or large-scale farming is best. Well, these smartly designed prototypes aim to make it easy for you to breed bugs right in your kitchen. I don't want to brag, but uh, some of us have already been doing this for years. So far, we're still waiting for the first consumer bug breeders to hit the market, though some DIY plans exist on the internet. If the forecasters are right though, you'll soon be enjoying tasty bug products like these, or breeding them yourself, just like me and my filthy roommates. <laughs> Number one, you've been eating them all along. Stay cool, Joe. That's right, as much as 500 grams, or about a pound per year in Western countries. How? Well, food regulatory agencies set acceptable impurity levels on processed foods like peanut butter, soups, and chocolate. For instance, in the US, the FDA says 150 insect fragments per 100 grams of flour is just fine. I think I'm in love. Also, if you're eating anything that's been dyed red, that dye probably came from cochineal, a particular insect that feeds on cacti. Which is your favorite bit? 
<laughs> Why is that? So, do you eat insects? Or would you sooner eat something like this? Chilled monkey brain. For more nutritious top 10s and barely palatable top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Mm -hmm.